The police chief says their building is too small and the city council agrees. But some believe $20 million is too much to pay for a new police headquarters in Council Bluffs. Tomorrow, a big vote to determine the future. Reporter Nick Starling is live tonight with the last minute posturing. Nick. Craig, Jen, in less than 24 hours, Council Bluffs police will know whether or not they will get a new home. In the meantime, those in favor of it are out canvassing to help get you to vote for it. Take a look inside Council Bluffs headquarters, and it doesn't take long to notice it's cramped. It's like being in a small cubicle with three people, and it, there's not enough room. Lifelong Council Bluffs resident Lyle Gordon toured the 19,000 square foot facility and says the men in blue deserve better. And the only way the Council Bluffs can grow is get a bigger station, a better station, uh, show that we can protect and serve everybody in the community. Golden attended the last study session on the new police headquarters before the election. Police Chief Tim Carmody is feeling good about the $20 million bonds chances on Tuesday. We're confident. I mean, it's been going really well. There's a lot of a positive support out there. Um, we're very hopeful that the public understands our position and why we're doing this. While many people we talk with are in favor of a new police headquarters, some who didn't want to talk on camera didn't like the possibility of the headquarters leaving downtown or that the city council will choose the location, not the taxpayers. It is not a fire station. We do not need to be in the central heart of Council Bluffs in order for our police officers to be able to respond quickly. Mother of four, Brooke Hubbard, is supporting a new police headquarters, saying she wants her family to be protected as her kids get older. I have four kids, so I would really like to have within my own community the facilities that I feel like are sufficient enough to, you know, help if there is crisis within my family or loved ones that I'm affected by. Council Bluffs police have held over 40 meetings on this topic. Chief Carmody tells me they have talked to over 800 residents in Council Bluffs about uh, getting a new police headquarters. Again, it takes 60% of the vote, a supermajority, for it to pass. Voting starts tomorrow, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and we'll bring those results to you tomorrow as well. Reporting live in Council Bluffs, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.